How's it going guys? Charles here, Suicide Drift. Today we are going to be working on the 1.5 JZ, which is right here. So I didn't film putting the head onto the motor. It was just my dad and I, and we just did it real quick because I just need to borrow him. Help me out with this. So what we have to do today, water pump, we're going to be putting the head studs or the head nuts on the studs. I already lubricated it with the ARP NECs. After that, I'm going to get the cams in cam caps uh get the valve covers on i do not have my and fittings yet uh the 10 and and the lines yet to run it to the catch can it's right here so i'm just gonna put them on i already have the new bolts over there in that box from earlier and kind of just button everything up get it prepped to go back into the car because it is spring break i'm gonna try to get this back in i still have to do the wiring the uh battery relocation but we'll get on this first Alright guys, so I got all the nuts onto the studs as you guys can see, all the way for all of them. <clears throat> the way I'm going to be torquing them again, uh, it's in the last uh, other video too, it's, it has to be torqued to 80 foot pounds. So I'm going to do a 30, then a 30, and then a 20. So 30, and then 30 to get to 60, and then 20 more to get to 80. So you want to do it in uh, three equal passes, uh, but I didn't want to go, I think it was like 26 or something like that to get all the way to it or it was some weird number i'm going to be having the torque sequence on my phone right here so i'm going to just know where to go um i'll try to put that on the screen as well like in the bottom corner if i remember otherwise i'll just do like a like a screen capture of it just so then you guys can see exactly where i'm going Alright, so now the head's fully torqued on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it crosses over. Eight, then nine, then ten, and then go straight back. Eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Over, oh, yeah, fourteen. And then that's it. So then now it's time to put the cams back in here. Uh, right after I go help my parents. I guess so here's a sequence for let me see if it'll focus. <clears throat> if I turn my brightness up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um but right now I'm gonna be putting the cam caps on. They all have their different numbers. If I remember or if I, yeah, I'll I'll try to get the this link into the description. Just so then you guys can go to the FSM. So then you're able to follow the torque specs. Everything's kind of the one JZ and the two JZ. They have the same torque sequence and all, um, and all the different caps are pretty much lined up. So I'm just gonna start torquing the cam caps on and then just coat it all with assembly lube. So I got the intake and the exhaust cams both on, fully bolted up, torqued down, 14 pounds. Uh, showed you guys the sequence. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is I'm getting my water pump. This is the old one. Uh, this is an original 1J water pump. And then this is a 2JZ water pump. This one um, I got from O'Reilly's. I just put some thread locker on there because on that one, it stripped backwards. Like the water pump was still good, but... The bolts over there got stripped and I didn't want to deal with that anymore. So it comes with a new gasket that I have right over there. All right, so I got the water pump on. I had to take off the upper water neck uh, because I had to fix up 
some of the welds on here because it was leaking um and then i can get that back on i also have to find a nut for this bolt on the back uh for the tooth that goes to the heater hoses um otherwise i did notice one thing <clears throat> if you guys see this crankshaft uh you see how the this part that hooks up to the timing belt you see how it was like it wasn't moving on that one look at this so that's bad because then it, it's going to be slipping in between and then this could spin and then the timing's going to be all fucked up so then it can bend the valves so what i have to do is get uh, another QA just how this one is so it doesn't shake back there anymore uh, So that's one thing that's gonna stop me for a little bit, but I just got to pull that off whatever um, I did get you know the cams all the way on uh, I can't really do much else right now. I have to yeah get that keyway So then I could put the timing belt cam stuff on I also have to clean out the rest of the head because I forgot to get a straight razor and clean up all of this I could put the valve covers on also need to get cam gear uh gaskets so hopefully those i can get soon those in the keyway soon so i can finish slapping everything back together so i didn't know my gopro fell over um but i took this second keyway out uh this is no this is the front one so this is this back one uh oh wait, no sorry this one is so i don't know if you guys can see that but you can see that's where it was pushing against the crankshaft and then it was shifting over. The size of the uh, the keyway is just very slightly different. Uh, very slightly uh, like shifted over but it gave enough play in there. So this one's for the front. So pretty much when you put it in, you just line it up. And then you have to just get it centered. And then, I don't know if you guys can see how flat that is. But, yep, you want it about that flat. And then for this part, this is the one I had off of that other crankshaft I had on the side of the house. Just going to make sure it fits right into here, which it does. So this keyway is still good. This is the one I got, again, from the side of the house. So as long as it lines up pretty good, then I can tap it in. Wait. I'm gonna make sure it's all the way seated with this little tap I have. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how it's gonna sit. I need to push this in, yeah, just a little bit more. But this one is the rear uh, one, the same one off of the other block. So this is the exact same size. Um, it should be at least. So once I have this on, then I can put that. Um, I can't even put that on. I don't even have the front main on. What's up, y'all? Today, uh, I got my new cam seals in. So I put those just in. Put in the new front main seal. So that's good. <clears throat> um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cams on. Put the timing gear cover also. Then get the timing butt on. Um, like I showed you guys, the new wood roof key is on. Then we can put the tensioner actually fully mounted onto the chest. Or onto the block. And then... I'm an idiot. I accidentally did the inner side of this one, the 10 an, and this side the 10 an, instead of doing it the outers and then keeping the hose in the middle. So I'm gonna just drill this out, drill that out, put a 10 an here, put a 10 an there, and then I'm just gonna plug these, plug the inners, and then just keep this vented out. So it's not gonna affect it. It's still PCV, um, positive crankcase pressure. And that's going to be relieved by the ends. This is just to kind of keep it balanced, but it should still be fine because I'm going to bring them back both over to the same uh, catch hand over here. All right, guys, as you guys can see, everything's on. Um, all right, now I'm heating up some paint because I am painting the valve covers. So I decided to go. It's going to be kind of a surprise. I'm going to black it out, black and white after this. Um, but just know these are changing colors and that's changing color too. So I'm going to primer it first, which is what I'm heating up primer and then oh can't show that then some paint and then uh clear coat or yeah then clear coat so once you guys heat up the can just shake it up so you see oh, you guys can't really see but there's going to be dents on the bottom and then that's how you know you're ready to spray 
All right, so they're all primered up. I just have to wait for it to cure. Probably gonna hit it a little bit with the heat gun just to let it cure a little bit faster. Um, I just thought about it. I'm probably not gonna leave it just a surprise. Um, I'm gonna be going with black and then I'm gonna hit it with some flake and I'm gonna clear over it just to make sure it's all cleared. Um, I do need my other paint can. I think it's red. Let me go get it. Yeah, so this is the red. This I'm going to be also using for the center. I'm just going to be making this one uh, straight red. So it's going to be black with gold on here. This is going to be straight red with clear coat. I just want to kind of have a little bit different so it's not just gold all the way across. Have a little bit of definition between. So once uh, this is done, all this is done drying, I'm going to move this out of the way. Spray the blacks um, and spray the red. And then probably do black and then flake then clear and then just do this one red and then clear all right y'all so i got the valve covers all black as you guys can see so now i'm going to be spraying the flake on i'm probably not going to be putting too much to where it looks too crazy but just enough so you know it's a little bit subtle then let the paint cure then hit it with clear coat i also forgot to prime this one earlier so i just started primering it and then i'll hit that with black also so these all are going to be the same and then only the red's going to be different all right guys so i have the valve covers and the timing cover all painted as you guys can see looks super sick um i'm not putting that onto here yet i don't want to damage them while i put the motor into the car um tonight i am just cleaning up everything around here getting this off of the engine sand so i can put the rear main seal on um and then pretty much get it all prepped to throw it in tomorrow because i'm going to be putting the motor in tomorrow so i got the power steering set up right over there the starter right over there just got to move it to the side gonna line it up with the transmission to get it back in um also yeah i also got to put the clutch the flywheel all that stuff on to there as well um i already ran my battery cable all the way to there that power and then it comes all the way into the car to the trunk so I gotta, yeah, just finish clearing up all this shit and then back the car up, take the motor off.